Flight attendants at one major airline being reminded not to duct tape passengers after a series of disturbing incidents. So how will they protect themselves and the passengers? Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez has much more on this. Gio, good morning. Hey, Dan, good morning to you. The number of unruly passengers just keeps rising dozens of new cases per week. So this morning, we go behind the scenes with flight attendants to get a firsthand look at their special training. This morning, with in-flight confrontations on the rise, United Airlines sending a memo to its crew members reminding them, don't use duct tape on passengers. You'll remember that viral video just two weeks ago of a passenger on a Frontier Airlines flight duct taped to a seat after allegedly groping two flight attendants and punching another. The flight attendants were placed on leave while they investigated. This as the tally of unruly passengers keeps growing. Now, more than 3,800 cases since the start of the year. This is the biggest direct threat to flight attendants that we have ever faced. And the union for Southwest flight attendants saying they've hit a breaking point. Our flight attendants are weary, exhausted, and they can take no more. We're asking that additional flights not be added to the schedule until the company can handle the flight schedules that we currently have. So flight attendants are learning to take on unruly passengers by fighting back. ABC News inside a recent one-on-one -on -one self-defense training class from federal air marshals. A TSA program once offered once a quarter, now offered once a month. So now you're basically doing three or four times the number of classes with double Yes. The amount of people in it. Yes, exactly. That's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. The assaults and the disruptions on the aircraft are higher now than they have been in recent memory to me. Watch, got my wrist. During the four-hour course, air marshals teach flight attendants various de-escalation techniques and how to defend themselves if passengers become violent, like this. Turn and break it away from the thumb. Yeah, done. For flight attendant Stasia Gardner, it's a refresher course with a new mindset. And this is something where when you took this class the first time yeah. years ago, yeah. you probably thought, eh, I probably won't have to use a yeah. lot of this. Yeah, now I'm like, wait a minute, I might have to use this tomorrow. I hope I don't, <laughs> but you might have to. And the largest flight attendants union in the country now wants this program to be federally mandated. But listen, the flight attendants tell me they don't want to fight with passengers, but guys, they do want to be ready. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gio, thanks. It is tough out there for mm -hmm. flight attendants. Gio, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.